Brianna Williams shuts up her naysayers as she heads to Budapest and the World Athletics Championships 2023. In other words, the cream rises to the top. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. You drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit the like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, ready? Yep. Good to go. Now, making the Jamaican women's sprint team, the 100 meters sprint team, is akin to being in the finals at the World Athletics Championships and or the finals of the women's 100 meters at the Olympic Games. And I am not exaggerating. It is the hardest team on earth, and this includes the United Kingdom, Canada, and United States to make. It is hard to do so. Now, compounding this fact, this year, we had a record amount of young uh, female applicants who were all brilliant trying to get there. Now, we here at Peter Lloyd were consistently said several of them could have gone so, could have made the team, but we also consistently stated that we believe Brianna Williams would pretty much be the one for obvious reasons. And, of course, since this is a platform where we allow you to speak courteously but honestly, Many of you said there is no way she was going to do it. However, in the end, when the smoke cleared, it is Brianna Williams who is the fourth person who is making the team. Yep. And in fact, Brianna Williams is the only person below a particular age who has made the team. And there's even more, but we'll tell you that in a moment. In the finals of the women's 100 meters at the Jamaica National Championships 2023 in the women's 100 meters, it was Sharika Jackson who won in a world leading and new personal best time of 10.65 ahead of Sasha Lee Forbes who ran a new personal best of 10.96 to come second. Natasha Morris ran 10.98 to take that third spot and Brianna Williams ran a season's best of 11.01 to take the fourth position. in the set position off they go very very good start by Sharika Jackson Natasha Morris is on the premises Tom Sahira is knocking on the door as well step forward Sharika Jackson imperiously and she steps away in great style to become back-to-back -back national champion now what makes this even more remarkable is that Williams admitted in an interview after the events after she made the team that a week before she sustained another injury to her hamstring she stated william said last week the unbelievable happened to me i wasn't even sure if i was going to run at the trials this week the yb Re Rehabil rehabilitation center that's you and blake's Rehabil rehabilitation center worked tirelessly on me and i just want to thank god that i made it out here and was able to run all three healthy races in other words people she got injured one week before the national championships williams went on went on to state the season's not over i still have more personal bests to run but i just want to thank god that i still made the team definitely a lot stronger than last year just a few more things to work on and just focus on being healthy for the rest of the season so i can get lower so I can get lower my times each race. I guess she means I so I can get and get to lower my times each race. Right now it's going well. I'm just happy that I made it without feeling it, meaning the hamstring, and I'm so grateful. So people, apart from the other hamstring issues that she had early in the season, last week, one week before the the, the championships, she also got injured, and it was the Johan Blake Rehabilitation Center that worked on her tireless that's why she was able to run in fact uh one of my contacts tells me that she was there training uh screamed everybody heard her scream out and ran over to her only to find out that she was in agonizing pain so again heart of a lioness in the semi-finals of the women's 100 meters at the jamaican national championships 2023 uh in semi-final number two 
it was Natasha Morrison who won in 11.14, Elaine Thompson Harris second in 11.14, and Brianna Williams third in 11.22. So, the likes of uh, Morrison and Smith will hope to go with her. Sent off, clean break. Thompson gets out well. Morrison also. Brianna Williams on the outside. It's Morrison from Thompson Hira. Here comes Thompson Hira now. Top three ad advance automatically. And across the line, Morrison gets it just ahead of Thompson. And she opened her campaign in the heats of the women's 100 meters in heat number one running alongside Sharika Jackson. She ran 11.19 to take the third spot behind Janelle Smith who also ran 11.19 and Sharika Jackson who won that heat in 10.99. In it is the top three who aut automatically advance. Set position and a sent away cleanly good start for Brianna Williams but also for Sharika Jackson. Look at Sharika Jackson, she looks imperious. She's shutting it down and the rest of them are a chasing pack. Sharika Jackson was absolutely in control there. Ten now, Brandon Williams had to get by all these remarkably younger talents to get to make the team. Of course, Kemba Nelson, the remarkable Tina Clayton. Of course, our national record holder, junior record holder, Alana Reed. Tia Clayton also a remarkable talent uh kevona davis another remarkable talent and of course Sh serena cole now this of course is my two cents look people there are a plethora with all the talent that we have i can understand why one we can have different opinions etc but you see i kind of look on several factors and myself and some of the team members talked about this Brianna Williams is not ordinary. Um, and I know that you're going to say none of these people are ordinary. They're not ordinary. They're all remarkable talents. But at age 16, Brianna Williams lined up against Elaine Thompson Hera. Well, she was then Elaine Thompson. And uh, Shelly and Fitzpatrick Price held her own, came third, and ran one of the fastest times in the world. She was 16. Uh, double, double champion in terms of um, junior champion, I believe twice. Uh, She's a remarkable talent and went pro at 16 and never looked back. Now, we know that a transition takes place. Um, the great Frano himself said it, Stephen Francis said, not many junior sprinters, star sprinters, make it into the senior ranks and are still star sprinters. And I've said to you in the past, Brad Williams is the, one of the few persons I know who has almost every year ran a new season's best. No, not season's best, sorry personal best apologies apologies brandon williams not ordinary people um you know the, the 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 factors outside of just crunching the numbers the fact of the matter is uh alongside alana reed alana reed's best time of course is that insane 10.92 still can't believe it every time i say it um brianna's best i believe is 10.94 with tina clayton's best being 10.95 those are three exceptional young ladies and then in, in fact I am thinking that those are the three young ladies who may make it. I'm not knocking the others because all the others are super talented. But the transition into uh, running, running against seniors is not just physiological, it's also psychological. Brianna Williams is a different kind of athlete. She's exceptional. Her change from Atterbowl into T the Titans was also a massive change in terms of how she trained. And we saw her overcome injury from last year. And running at 11.01 because noted note her times where she improved her pb throughout that brief season one year before that having suffered another hamstring issue i'm not surprised that brianna williams made the team in fact i sort of anticipated it and i'm not quite sure why you couldn't see it i'm not knocking the other young ladies because i'm a huge fan i'm a huge fan of all of them they're remarkable talent in fact they're almost like they're my, my children but the logic is, given the fact that she's a world silver medalist, meaning Brianna Williams, and a gold medalist from the Olympic Games, 19 and 20, it gave her a distinct advantage. Experience, no fear of the seniors, and I think she had already successfully started her transition. But this, of course, is my two sets. She silenced the naysayers and her critics. That's a fact. But this, of course, again, is my two cents. The cream rises to the top. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings and queens, bless up!